Yo, what is going on? Welcome back to a new video. Guiding Light here, back with not a Destiny video. Today, we are actually playing a game called No Man's Sky, if you have not heard of it. It's a PlayStation exclusive as of right now, and it will be out on PC later this week. I don't believe it's coming out on Xbox, although I'm not really too sure. But either way, this game is absolutely incredible as of right now. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your first Atlas Pass version 1. So if you have not crafted your hyperdrive yet in order to leave the star system that you are in, you will need to do that before doing this. Now the fastest way to unlock the blueprint for the Atlas Pass is to follow the actual Atlas guideline. Now the actual purpose of this game is to get to the center of the galaxy, but I'm choosing to actually just follow the path of the Atlas right now. There's two separate paths you can take, one to the center of the galaxy, one to the Atlas, and then there's actually the third path which would just be to explore as you see fit, not to actually follow any path at all, and to just go out and explore the universe as you will. Now if you follow the path of the Atlas, you will stumble across an anomaly in space after a few times warping to another system. Now this is where I was granted my first Atlas blueprint. Now all I was really doing in order to get to this portion of the game was warping to the closest planet that I could after creating hyperdrives. You will need antimatter to do that and I actually already have a guide on how to do that if you want to check that out. It's pretty simple how to craft the antimatter once you have the blueprint. And all you really need to do is just find a store and buy like one supply and you should be set in order to build your antimatter. So once you warp about four or five times, you should warp into some sort of space anomaly. Now, I don't know if this is the exact same for every single person. It took me about three full warps in order to actually get to a space anomaly. Now, I also had a quest to go and find these two people. Now, I'm not sure if you will just get that quest or if that was something that I discovered on my own. But here we go. Now you warp on into another galaxy and you will see a space anomaly there. Now like I said this may be random but for me it took me about three full warps. And what I mean by that is that my hyperdrive was filled up all the way before I warped. I would never warp unless the hyperdrive was completely full so I could get to the farthest location away possible. So I'm not sure if it's based off of distance or really just the time you've spent in the game warping around. It's I'm not really too sure about any of that but once you do find a space anomaly you will want to enter that as soon as possible. This is where you are going to be able to get the Atlas Pass. So just like entering a space station or something, and any other sort of thing in space, you will immediately land. Now, this was the most interesting thing that I've landed on in this game so far. I'm not really too sure if there was anything more to do here, but once I busted in through these doors, it was actually pretty funny. I liked walking in on these people. It's always really funny when you just bust open the door on these people. They're just kind of standing there, but it's always really damn funny every time you do it. So this guy was standing here. Now this guy looks like a boss. I've seen people looking like this before, but this guy just seemed to be a little different. This guy, when I talked to him, somehow already knows how to speak my language. These were two guys that I was set out to look for not too long ago. Now as I've talked to this guy, he actually is going to grant me a shortcut to the center of the galaxy. Now if you get the same option, I do suggest that you do that. I wasn't really paying too much attention when I did it. And for some reason, I decided to resume the path of the Atlas. Now I did that because I thought that it would help me actually find more atlas points but all it really did was just show me something I already saw because I already knew where the atlas point was so if you're in the same boat as me do not resume the path of the atlas be sure to find the shortcut to the center of the galaxy or maybe even get the resources to aid your own exploration but do not resume the path of the atlas that was a really big mistake on my part and it didn't actually do anything for me so if you have these same options as me I would suggest selecting something else unless you really do need that point because I already had it before I got here now once you talk to this guy he will ask you to give him something that he has not discovered yet. That's what he's interested in. The only thing he wants to know is something that he doesn't actually know. So you need to be able to actually give him that information. So before getting to this place, now you do want to make sure you're exploring as many planets as possible and discovering as many species and types of plants as you possibly can so that when you do get to this point, you will have some information to give this guy. So here we go. I actually give him the stuff that he wants. Now just some random information about stuff that I've learned so far across my journey. He wants to know it because he doesn't really leave the space station too much and he wants to know what's going on out in there in the universe. So as a reward, he did grant me the Atlas Pass version 1 blueprint and this thing is extremely easy to make. All you need is some iron and some heridium. Both can be purchased on the store and both can be abundantly found on just about any planet you visit. Really easy stuff to find. So now that we finally have this Atlas Pass version 1, let's go back to a space station and actually crack open that door because I really want to figure out what's on the other side of that space station door. So all you gotta do now is just hop back in your ship, I'm gonna head to the nearest space station I can, craft an Atlas Pass, and then we are going to break into one of those space station doors and see what kind of loot is behind that door. That's what I've been trying to figure out for quite a while in this game. Okay, so here we are at the nearest space station I could find. Now I immediately crafted that Atlas Pass version 1 because it was really simple and I had the resources on me. 
So here we go. We're gonna jetpack up to this door and finally figure out what the heck is on the other side of it. I don't know if there's gonna be another person that I just awkwardly walk in on or some rewards, but let's not and out. Open up this door. Atlas Pass version one acquired. All right, so as of right now, I can already see a suit upgrade in here and two doors on the left and the right. Now, immediately, I do want the suit upgrade because I've been running low on inventory space, and I definitely need to make sure that I get some more. I now, unfortunately, I did have to drop 20k on that inventory slot, but it was totally worth it. 20k is actually not as much as you might think in this game, and it's actually quite easy to make money in this game as well. Now, let's go ahead and open up these other two doors. Oh, now, unfortunately, you actually do need Atlas Pass version three to get through these. So I would imagine after warping around the galaxy some more, I may get the blueprint for Atlas Pass version 2 and then version 3 sometime later after that. But for now, this is all I have for you guys, Atlas Pass version 1. Now unfortunately, you do need version 3 in order to get past these more high security doors. But even version 1 did grant me a pretty decent reward for my level. I did get another inventory slot and a new pack, which is pretty awesome. There's I've only found two of those so far, and I've been playing this game for about 10 hours so far. So to be honest, that's actually a pretty rare item to be finding in this game. So unfortunately that's all I really have for you guys now. I wasn't able to get Atlas Pass version 2 or version 3 yet, but once I do I will definitely be sure to update this video and let you guys know how to do that. Now keep in mind with Atlas Pass version 1 you can open up that door in every single space station so I'm sure the rewards will be different across every space station you visit. And you will also now be able to open up a lot more loot caches on the planets that you do visit that require that Atlas Pass as well. So hopefully this guide did help you out. If it did be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future No Man's Guide guides and Destiny videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.